Okay, according to what I heard when I came, because I came around after 12, and I was told that some of the printers that worked at Dosumu, they worked overnight. So they worked till early this morning, till around to 9. So when their fuel got down, they tried to get another fuel to pour inside the generator. But instead of switching off the gen, they didn't switch off the gen. They poured the fuel when the gen was on, before the fuel got escalate. So when the gen started burning, they tried to throw the gen down. The gen fell down and the fire just blows off. So from there, the fire started from one building. So when the fire service came, they came early. But they don't have good chemical to switch off the, the fire. They are just pouring ordinary water. So they are pouring water, the fire is escalating. Now about 15 buildings have been damaged. I went there, my friend's shop, both the shops and parking store have been damaged from Nandi Azikiwe to Dosumu, from Dosumu down to Akito a market. The whole of this Akito a market is damaged from that uh, Midumago as it back to Dosumu, about 15 shops there, buildings is damaged. So if that we have a good fire service with good chemical, they would have switched off this fire when it started from the one building. Now it has affected about 15 buildings. We are here when this building here burned and it went down. If by the standard of which, uh, by the standard of Lagos State today, we should have had an improved fire service operation than this, what we have. I don't know how to know the reason why Lagos State, with the, with the tax collection here, could not have a service point here where the, the fire, fire, tank, uh, fire service board can be refilling their tank at this point here, not going to, to look for water. One of them has gone for over one hour, one hour, we have not seen, look at Look at the shop up there. It's a set burning. And these are the lapses we, are, we, we saw. The, the guys that came, they did their best, but their best was not enough. This, my, this building that is still burning now is where my shop is, number 42, Idumabu. You know, this, this uh, fire incident started by, I think, around after night this morning. You know, I, I, as they alleged, because I wasn't around uh, that uh, the next building that have already collapsed, that the, that the uh, generator there, the fire started with the generator and there is a fuel beside that generator. So some of some of all these guys, they just carry the generator, throw it with the fuel. As they fling it, the fuel scatter everywhere. So how this is how the fire starts spreading. Uh, I think about over 15 buildings got burned today. And uh, three, of my build, three of my shop got burned too. So this one that's burning already is have a shop there. The other one have collapsed. Number two, Pedro, and the other one at Kinto Market have collapsed too. So all the three of my shop just got born today, and the, the road we have already collapsed. So as as this is the highest fire incident I have ever seen since since I'm in this Lagos over 20 years ago. I've never witnessed such that a fire incident that involve about over 15 buildings. So I've not. I've not witnessed it except today. As you can see me, I don't have any shop against some that have a three shop and controls millions of this thing. But today I'm, I'm just empty. I'm just empty. So I don't know what to do. I don't know if there is any help uh, this station or government can lend that to us. But uh, the issue that we really get to us, all we need from the government is that we need a very modern market. So all these uh, landlords and developers that are in this, that, that are in this Indumata and Tom Jones, so all the governments, they should make an arrangement. Maybe they should do a meeting together. They should put a big modern market and a big standby generator. So all these things will be... All steady lights. So everything, we are, we are not going to be in this, all this situation again.